and welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears. We have already gone and planned out our entire mission, our way of getting into the castle and all of that. Now Faye is free to go about and do whatever the hell he wants until it's time to rest up, because the mission is actually tomorrow, the next day. So I'm going to take this opportunity in the special episode to wander around the city and show you some stuff that's out and about. Because I have to keep everything under 10 minutes and I don't feel like having this be more than one episode, I'm going to fast forward through a lot of parts, like traveling between buildings. Yep, uh, yep, there's one of the Ethos workshops. It's one of the Avis troopers there. This is actually a gear shop. But I don't actually... Uh, but everything here is more out of date than what I already have, so it's useless to buy stuff here. Now, see, I'm fast-forwarding for the runs between buildings. See how the politics of the city works. That Vanderkum guy is the same one that Ramses went and berated for his failed attack on the pirate base. Fast forward! Not really any plot points here or anything. I'm just going around seeing what a lot of the people have to say. See, I spent a lot of time just wandering about mindlessly, and that's why I had like 17 minutes of footage. And I only wanted 10 minutes. So I'm fast forwarding! Okay. Here's the diner. Now you can actually get food here. Though it is kind of pointless. Something cheap. Fast forward. Okay. Three plates for one guy. A badass. No wonder he gained a lot of weight. He actually gained like 10 pounds with that. I'll show you. Under status, you can see the weight beneath the name 189. It was like 179 before. And I skipped up a little bit of dialogue there. That's why you saw the skipping video. Fast forward! the child on the left stole something, passed it off to the other kid who walked away. And then the shopkeeper goes and investigates the kid, see the kid doesn't have anything. The little shoplifter comes. Turns out there were orphans. There were orphans stealing so they have something to eat. So if you follow these kids back up here, you have the opportunity to give them a thousand G and they stop stealing. They stop stealing. Now, it doesn't seem like there's any benefits. Fast forward! That if you give those kids the money later on in the game and when you come back to the city, you get some free stuff out of them. 
So it's worth the investment, I think. Especially since I have the spare money just sitting around and I'm not going to be using it. For now, anyway. Later on in the game, 1000G isn't really going to be worth that much. Fast forward! Weapon shop. This whip -a snapper is a weapon for Bart. And it's one I don't have yet. The most powerful weapon I can get for him, so I'm going to buy it now. Even though he's not in the party. Fast forward! It's an armor shop. I'm going to buy this leather hat. I'll equip it too, but I won't show you that. Fast forward! I'm not sure what the significance of this is, but from this shopkeeper you can buy the gear figure, mini gear, and then give it to this kid. He gives you something, but it's not really worth it, I don't think. Creepy little bird people. Well, it, it doesn't give you something. It gives you a secret. Something I was already aware of. That restaurant that I bought food from talking to the waiter, that fish tank there has a gold nugget inside of it. The only way to get at it is to swim through the sewers, which we're going to be doing in the next episode. I'll show you how to do it there. But, um, uh, we'll get to that later. Now this is, I'm speeding this up because I need to get through this quicker. But it's a few games. There are two games and some stupid little extra that you can do in here. Neither game is very funny and the extra is retarded. The expert is staring into a mirror. Start the game. You run around popping these balloons. Different balloons worth different amount of points. The white balloons are actually worth negative 100 points, so you want to avoid them. And depending on how many points you get, you get some item. So it's like a carnival game. Which I guess is exactly what it is. And I got an iron helmet. I'll be sure to equip that later if I remember to. Actually, I didn't remember to, and I got quite a while down the road before I remembered that I even had the thing. There's another game involving balloons once again. Kids drop down from the sky, and they let go of their balloon. You go and you grab the balloon and return it to the kid. You gotta return it to the proper kid because a balloon from the wrong kid will not go to another kid. The more you return, the better off you are. Now, if you nab each kid as they land and give them back their balloon, you can stay on top of the rush and never get overwhelmed. Just see what I'm doing here. I return to every kid who dropped down while the game was going. See, now the game's over and I'm lost control. Five Akasolas. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to even bother doing this. Mirror of Truth. No. <laughs> Just a mirror. You look at it, nothing happens. See a reflection. Of Faye. <gasps> Who is this? Some guy. From Lahan. Does not know that the village was destroyed. And his wife and child may very well be dead. As far as I can tell, it's only been a few days since that has happened. Let's see. It's the one. Two. Three. Uh, Lahan was destroyed like four or five days earlier.
And that brings about the end of this episode. So 